This is the final method of adding vectors together. And I think actually it's the best because it's the least subject to computational error. That is to break the vectors down into their component parts and then just add their component parts. And so we could go through all this difficult stuff of saying, yes, this is, uh, uh, you know, 68 degrees east of north and this one is 71.57 degrees, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, north of east and then we can uh, we could you know we can draw them or we can put them together uh, and use like the sign law and stuff like that but I think this is much much better because you can just use Sokotoa to find out what the Y and the X components are based on the hypotenuse and then ultimately you'll notice that this is uh, two units in the Y direction this one is three units in the Y direction and so my final vector I can just find by adding those two X and Y components together and so uh, ultimately this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1, 6 units in the X direction and 5 units in the Y direction it's just a lot easier and less subject to error than using uh, you know sine law, cosine law and of course graphing or you know drawing it just really doesn't cut the mustard in the end. We are going to be examining the addition of vectors. Now uh, if you don't already know it when you add vectors uh, you can just willy-nilly move them around. So these represent displacement vectors as you can see and the first method is the scale diagram method of adding vectors where you just you just draw one correctly using whatever its direction and its magnitude are and then you take the one that you are adding to it and in this case once again it's a displacement vector and uh, you draw that one tip to tail and then to find out what the ultimate result is you're going to join the tail of uh, your first vector to the tip of the second vector and then you're going this is the resultant vector this is the resultant displacement vector and I've done it by drawing